Here's what you're not gonna do. Here's what you're not gonna do. Not around me. Tighten up when I come through. Tighten up when I come through. I come through. Here's what you're not gonna do. 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 Tighten up when I come. 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 Here's what you're not gonna do. 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 Tighten up when I come. Tighten up when I come. Tighten up when I come. Tea in the shade. Hello, Hi. Georgia. Hi. Oh my Hello, gosh. Hello, Georgia. Hi, sis. Oh my gosh. Hey, sis. I'm. Hi. Uh, you are my hero today. You are today's hero. Thank you, sis. I'm trying, girl. It's been a. It's the police board of commissioners. They. They're. We've had our moments. Yes. The mayor. Well, please. Texted me right please, after please, please. Introduce yourself first and foremost. Please tell them who you are. Hi, I'm KJX. Um, I'm an activist and community organizer here in Kansas City. I've been organizing um, ever since the aftermath of the George Floyd protests. Um, I'm only 20 years old, um, but I'm the youngest activist here in Kansas City. Like everyone knows me as the young radical. Like I don't bite my tongue. Um, I really am just really unapologetic in the fight for black liberation and for black people in general. Um, I'm not gonna tolerate any misconceptions, anything that could be harmful to my people. Um, I truly love and value black people and that's why I showed up to the meeting. Um, I didn't know that, I was. I honestly forgot that they have their own version of the live stream because I thought it was like a private meeting. So I was just like, I'm gonna just pop my shit pretty much and that's what I did. Yeah. Um, and I, I was Love just writing you. stuff as I was sitting there because I was just watching Nathan Garrett. He's one of the police board of commissioners meetings and he just looked so indifferent. Like his hand was like, he looked like he did not care at all. And there's people crying over the victims that have died here in Kansas City at the hands of KCPD. And no one cared about that. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna eat their ass up. My boss was there too. I work for a civil rights organization. She was there too. I was like, you know what? I might have to get in trouble, but they getting ate up today. Right, girl, you put it all out there. I mean, every line for line. I absolutely loved it. It was eloquent. It was powerful. It was passionate. Like, it was absolutely beautiful. Like, I was so proud. I didn't even know you, and I was proud. I was like, that's, I love her. Like, I didn't even know who you were until I, someone sent me that video. And I was like, I am in love with this woman. Like, I, I, I yes, I live for her. Yes, thank y'all so much. It's just my, my notifications are freaking blown, blown up. I'm just trying to plug several other Black, black women-led organizations here in Kansas City because we really don't get any Black women in this space. I can't speak on other cities, but Black women in this space do all the work and get none of the credit. Operation Absolutely. is Absolutely. Do all the work. We do all Absolutely. the work and, and we get nothing for it. So I'm putting a nip in the bud and I'm, I'm plugging our orgs. We do all of the work and get 0% of the credit. And that's something I'll never be okay with. Because black women show up for black people unapologetically, continually. It's time for I put my body, my physical body in front of black men who won't even walk me to my car after a protest. And I still go and I still do it every time. So I'm mm. just happy. <laughs> of oh my that goodness. Poor. I mean, absolutely. All I can say is keep pushing it because. Like, my motto is the future is female, and, like, they need us. You know what I mean? Like, we were the creators, and it's, and you absolutely right. I mean, it goes back to me, you know, people. some people say it's not true. Some people say it's just a theory. But it goes back, for me, all the way back to the Black Panthers when they had the women. Like, all we were good enough for is to serve the food and cook the food during the free breakfast, you know, initiative. Yeah. We were the secretaries. We were the housekeepers, the secretaries, the babysitters. Like we weren't. How many times have you ever seen Fred or uh, Huey P. Newton in a Bobby Seal talk, and you've seen women on the front line or women at those meetings? You know what I mean? Like, and then if there were women on the front point, it was Angela Davis because she's light skinned and and 
and aesthetically pleasing to look at. So that's not lost. That's not lost upon us at all either. That's not lost upon us. And Q, I see someone put a comment about Q. Q is our mayor, Quentin Lucas. Um, I dragged him for a filth every time I met him. Um, every time, yeah. any time I've encountered him, I spared his feelings none. So I was like, I'll go a little easy on him today. But he messaged me as soon as he saw me in the meeting. <laughs> and he was like, good to see you. <laughs> Almost didn't see you back there. I'm like, oh, honey, I'm not, honey, I, I'm not here for you today. Right. Any speech where he's, where he's present in the room, I always start off with high Q, <laughs> but I don't, I don't want to bother him today. I was like, I'm coming for Nathan Garrett because of how he showed up to that meeting. He was just so nonchalant. He literally didn't even bat up. That was going to be my next question. What prompted you to like, you know what I mean? Like what prompted your stand? Like I understand everything that happened, but what prompted you to like, sit down, write this, go in there with your chest out, like, what What prompted it? Um, it was mainly, I don't, when I tell you I don't write speeches, I don't write speeches, like, I've given, like, 20, I'm on, I've been on Joe Biden's panel for Black Missourians, like, I've been on so many different panels and, like, just speeches, and I don't really write anything unless it's, like, a really formal event or whatever, which I'm a grassroots organizer. I wouldn't be at no damn galas eating brunch with Rich anyways. But I really right. like to speak from my heart because I feel like it makes me more authentic. And then I won't be trying to please certain people by trying to think of what I'm going to say ahead of time. But what really made me get, I was just in there and it started at 930. It was just so much tension in the room. There was like officers surrounding us. And I was arrested twice last month unlawfully. They followed oh my me home goodness. from a protest and arrested me on the highway as I was by myself. I'm all of like, oh I'm like goodness. five, seven, 130 pounds. I'm really skinny in person, y'all. I'm really skinny. And they had three officers to arrest me. And I requested a female oh officer on my first arrest, didn't get one. On my second arrest, it was seven officers there for me. They followed us after a protest into a hotel parking lot. And seven officers arrested me. I also requested a female officer. I didn't get one. So I was just like feeling hella triggered. I was just angry. I was like, they're not paying attention. They don't really care about us. They're not really valuing us. Like I'm finna, I'm finna read y'all for a fill. Everybody else in the room, all respect to the other orgs in the room. We're just like, well, thank you for your time. Good morning. Hello, Mr. Commissioner, this and the third. I'm like, ma'am, bleepity bleep you, bleepity bleep right. your mama. Bleepity bleep, everybody. I'm I'm not I'm not good morning. I'm not a respectability politics type of person. Um, I don't think mm -hmm. that being nice to them right. or addressing Absolutely them not. as Mister, it's not going to do us nothing. They don't deserve it. They, they don't, don't deserve it. They just flat out don't. So I'm not. And I that. absolutely agree. When I made the post, I mean, as you can probably you probably saw the post on my page. It has like a ton of comments, but one of the comments that really stuck out to me. And it's sad, but it's absolutely true. Like, I think I even put it in the caption. I, when I went and finally found out who you was and I tagged you, it says, protect this sister at all costs. And that's what it's come down to. Like you said, like you were, they followed you and waited until you were into a secluded area. Like, I don't want to see you, like, become a hashtag. I don't want to see you become a headline. And it's come to that. Yeah. And you yeah, really got I'm good though. Like, don't, don't I know people pilot. are like, oh, you're supposed to be afraid. Like, when I tell you, I'm really unapologetic. And I just know Casey, well, I won't say that I'm like protected or anything, but I think that they don't want to fuck with me. I, I really, I just have that. I just hope and pray that they really don't want to fuck with me. Um, it's just, sorry, I'm, I'm here answering messages too, because we got some. We got some activism stuff going on, popping. It's always popping. No, go right ahead. Right ahead. It doesn't stop. Go right ahead. It's always popping here. I'm just like lit because I was like, I'm just freaking speaking from my damn heart. I was like, I don't want to spare nothing because I just saw a lot of respectability politics in the room. Everyone was like mm -hmm. just trying to be really polite and proper, like 
please consider firing Chief Rick Smith because he's killing us. Please consider firing him because he's done this and that. Man, fuck that nigga. Fuck his kids. They lucky I didn't say addresses. Cause hold on, hold on, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. I have a whole Google document. I won't show y'all the document, but oh trust, cause it has their addresses on it. And the bitch ass mayor here, he made it illegal to dox. So I can't like I want right. to post addresses. Right. I, post, I know their employers, where their wife work, this and a threat, and that's not a threat. That is not a threat to any of them. Not a threat at all. But they made it illegal. So I was like, I don't I'm not really trying to I already have two cases. Two cases against me pending in the city. I'm like, I don't really want to do any more than that for now. But it's just been a perilous, perilous, crazy time. It's just crazy. Oh, here. my goodness. Definitely. I mean, don't be silenced, but at the same time, be careful. Be, be vigilant, but be careful. That's all I can say. That's the best advice. Because like I say, I don't want to... There's so many young ladies that have been activists that have been out doing their thing, you know what I mean? That's been like falsely arrested or ended up like hashtags, and that's the last thing I want to see for any of my sisters. Like, please, that's all I can say. Don't be silent by any means, but just be careful. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank y'all so much, and I'm just processing. Yes, and, thank like, you. Taking it all in. My boss, I'm gonna call her and tell her. Oh, I think you got we got a question. Do you have a team to protect you? Um, I don't really want to answer that on live because I feel like that's kind of like a uh uh giving out your secrets, letting yeah. them know what you want to do. But I'm good. We good in the hood over on these parts, and I don't have to <laughs> have a fancy security team, I don't have to have anybody. Um, I have my brothers, East of Truth, and if you don't know about East of Truth. You need to find out about Issa Truth and one call I saw, so I'm not really pressed about <laughs> I'm not pressed about KCMO, police, none of that. That's good. That's good. I definitely appreciate you taking the time. Like I said, you are our hero. Please keep doing what you're doing. Yes, like we right. love you. We appreciate it so much. But like if you ever need anything, post anything, just come to me. I got you, sis. Anything you need, let me know. Okay. It's just been like I'm just still processing because it's just crazy to do this work for so long. And it's not like I'm seeking recognition, but it's like People have always told me, like, oh, KJ, like, even older activists, like, civil rights leaders, older activists, radicals, conservative, like, everyone's kind of just had this general consensus, like, KJ, you gonna fuck some shit up one day. And it's, like, crazy to watch that, like, play out on, like, a national thing. It's just freaking, I'm just processing it all. <laughs> I mean, and it's beautiful because, you know what, you know why I appreciate it because... We need people your age that look like you to reach people your age that look like you. You know what I mean? Like, people your age don't want to hear it coming from my old ass. They're like, oh, this this old woman, they always preaching something. They don't want to hear it. But yeah. they'll hear it coming from you. They'll pay attention. They'll be like, okay, that's the, like, I, I'm listening to still on to something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, definitely, like, I appreciate everything you're doing and, like, just keep doing it. And absolutely. Like, you you need to be there. Like, why you can't be the, the first black woman president? Why not? Why, why not? Why not? I'm telling you. Why not? I would never sell people out. That's one thing I, I wholeheartedly vow to do. And one thing that, like, I will always stand on. No one. I would never sacrifice someone's life. I would never, I would never sacrifice people. I really can't even conceptualize sacrificing black Kansas Cityans to make sure that you have money for your re-election. Because that's really right. all I'm concerned about. Like, I could never conceptualize, like, selling people. So just know, like, when I'm president, y'all, I would never sell. I would never sell y'all out. I would never sell my people out or, or anybody on this earth out. So, Well, you got our vote. Thank you, sis. Well, thank thank y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, did I miss? Okay. So, y'all caught? Yes. She's so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I absolutely love her. I just met her today the same time y'all did. Uh, someone sent me the video. Shout out to... Uh, 
Face X Danielle on um, IG. She sent me the video. I watched it, and I want y'all to know I watched it again, and I watched it again, and I watched it again before I even posted it, and I watched it again, and I absolutely fell in love with that young lady. I was like, this she she just was explosive and passionate and powerful, and she just went in there and. She didn't put on her, uh, she didn't code switch. She went in there like she was, like she talked to anybody. And I absolutely, that's one of the most things I appreciated. She didn't code switch. She didn't go in there with the yes, thank you, and nothing. Nope. She went in there like, look, the niceties, it's, we, it's, we passed that. We passed that. So, yes, if y'all haven't seen the video, please check out my page. It's on her page. Um, yeah, and I'm just waiting for her to do big things. I really am. She out here. She's 20 activists in her city. She's like already making moves, already like making a splash. And like I posted her video, but I'm sure you're going to see a lot more of her.